Yeah, hi. All righty, ladies and gentlemen. Short video here. So apparently, Daniel Bryan's contract actually expired. Um, so it seems like his last match was on SmackDown. You know, they were hyping up as Daniel Bryan, if Daniel Bryan loses, he must leave the brand forever. Which, if if this is the case, that if Daniel Bryan's contract has, it was going to expire, wouldn't it the match have been more bigger if they announced that if Daniel Bryan loses, he must leave WWE? I think that match would have been bigger if this is the case now that Dan Bryan, he's leaving WWE. Just saying. But, I didn't, because I was thinking maybe he might go to Raw, he might go on to, for some people are saying he might go on NXT, which makes no sense, because again, that's supposed to be developmental, but again, they're trying to make it like a third brand or something, but whatever. But at the end of the day, um, if Dan Bryan is done, uh, so... If this is like his last match and he's leaving WWE, and I guess, I don't know, it's not confirmed that he's retired or whatnot, but the reality is, like, what well, apparently that he, his contract expired, but the thing is, like, what I, okay, this is just a rumor they're saying, they're saying that he, his contract expired, but apparently this is just a rumor, but what I'm thinking is, like, for now, like, if, unless, like, he's actually leaving WWE, uh, apparently he's like now officially a free agent. He can go whenever. Um, I don't know. I, I, that's the thing. I don't know. I wasn't sure that if Daniel Bryan was going to leave WWE until like today when I found out that like from the old wrestling news that oh he's leaving and shit like that. But I mean, good riddance, I guess. Like if he's actually leaving, listen, I don't hate Daniel Bryan like legit as the person. I think that the guy should probably retire, take care of his family. You know, the guy has so many injuries. The guy should probably, you know, retire instead of going to some shit indie fed or going to AEW. Because for God's sakes, if you have looked at AEW, fucking literally, a lot of people almost died. For God's sakes, Matt Hardy and shit like that, you know? And for God's sakes, the day of Brian, the guy got fucking injured so many times. And he, he literally had to retire at one point. Now he's back, you know, he had to fucking, you know, be careful about, like, in WWE. At least with WWE, you know, they actually make sure you don't injure yourself. So you have to, as much as, like, you know, they, you know, unfortunately, WWE doesn't do chair shots much and shit like that. At least it takes care of them, you know. I, I, I hate it, but it's the truth. It's good, I guess, but, you know, but it, it does suck for WWE. Like, they suck and shit like that, but I'm just saying, you know. I, I don't, the, the thing is, I legit don't want Daniel Bryan to get hurt, you know what I mean? I, I actually want him to be okay. And plus, like, unless, like, if, because what I'm, if this is the case, like, he's actually leaving WWE to go somewhere else, then, I don't know. I, I mean, at least, I will say this, like, I'm not trying to hate on Bryan. Well, I mean, I, I know I fucking portrayed, I hate Bryan, I, let's say, let's just say, he's not entertaining, I'm, for, I'm sorry, I know all the fucking smarky fans, you know, they're going to miss him in WWE, or, but apparently they're happy, they want him to go to AEW, so they're going to probably have him go to AEW and shit like that, they're going to be so happy, that's why they're happy he's going to leave apparently, because he could go to AEW, where, you know, they're all the same wrestlers and shit like that, but whatever, what, I guess like that's less a problem in WWE, right, like, at least the guy won't be boring up the show, listen, did, I did like Brian when he would be a heel, okay? I will give him this. Whenever he's a heel, it's good. I think he's a better heel than a face. It's more hateable and actually helps him better as a character, you know? Him saying yes, I'm not, I'm not just Lee. Well, but in his original heel run, but then when he has another heel that's saying the yes move is dead and became the planet champion, when he had that, you know, vegan character, you know, about the planet and shit like that, that's good. You know, that's him being this whole environment and this vegan, you know, hateable. It's good. That's good stuff. But now, you know, he's a f fucking boring face. He just says yes and shit like that. That's boring, you know. And it doesn't help that when he was in when the SmackDown, he, you know, oh, I didn't want to be in the WrestleMania match. Bullshit. If that was gay, then why you booked yourself in it? If you had creative control, you know? I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Unless, like, they wanted him in, which is, like, why would you want him in if he didn't want to be in or shit like that? But reality is, like, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'm glad he was in it still, you know, sort of. 
but it's like it would have been bigger but it still was a good match i will give him that like he but the thing is like all the cool things was done by edge and reigns you know but again we gotta focus on brian i mean not like his his wrestling, I mean, he, I think he's one of the most boring fucking wrestlers of all time. He's just your vanilla midget. He's just a, a guy that has indie cred that people, the oldest smarky fans like him just because he was in the indies and did all these indie bullshit. He just does kicks. And he, the reason why people liked him was literally because of the yes chant. And not just that, they only liked him because he was small. He embodied what... The fans are, you know, because he's not your typical big guy. That's why they he got the li li light. He just looked like the fucking fans. That's why. Like, if he could do it, then so can I. That is what. That is why fucking Brian, you know, is was liked by the Smarky fans. You know what I mean? And unfortunately, let's be honest here. He did draw the lowest. He did draw low ratings as champion. He's the reason why WrestleMania, why WrestleMania went don't like after winning WrestleMania thirty, wrestling went downhill. The rest, like the way wrestling was, went downhill. It should have either been Batista winning the title or whatever fuck. It, shit like that, you know. But the thing is, if this is his last match, which again was a good match, you know, him versus Reigns. But again, Reigns did the cool shit. It, it would be nice, honestly. I think the guy should retire, you know, because for God's sake, why risk your health? And especially going to a shit company that's literally second tier to WWE, which is the biggest fed. Like, don't get me wrong. Yes, WWE sucks. But it is still the biggest brand, you know. Uh, uh, why waste your time going to a shit company where, like, all this indie shit. And this, especially, how is that going to make him special? I get it, like, he'll, he'll be treated better because he was, a, you know, he's a guy from WWE, right? That is why. And that's why it's going to lead to maybe people wanting to watch AEW, which is whatever. You know, but the thing is, that's literally why. You know, they, they that that's why AEW would hire him because he's a former WWE guy. I get it. You know, you have to put at least get some good people. You know, but the thing is, it's not like he's the most entertaining guy. It's not like fucking you can get all these great wrestling fans watching it except the Smarks. Obviously, Sparky indie wrestling fans they're gonna watch AEW if he joins or wherever the fuck he goes. But, but the reality is that's going to be very low percentage. It's not going to be as big as fucking people watching WWE. Just saying. Okay? I do think the guy should retire if he's not going to compete anymore. I don't think he should be part creative. But whatever. But the thing is, the fact is, if, if it's true that he's leaving, then sure. But here's the thing. I don't think I mentioned this already. Apparently, like, you know, he's trying to, he's going to be like a part-timer, though. So the thing is, for those who don't know, you know, he, he was planning to become a part-timer. So if that's the case, maybe he is still in WWE, but he's going to sign a different contract which will allow him to be in WWE, but it's going to be a part-time basis. Um, I don't think he's literally, he's a good example of a part-timer. I mean, I get it, like, if you're going to fucking wind down, you should sign up for a part-time schedule. I mean, at least that will keep him safe from being, going to another shit company, right? You know? But the reality is, I don't think he's that big time wrestler where I would draw, like, why should he be the part-timer? But whatever, it is what it is. I just, you know, for those who say I don't care, I do care about, you know, I want, you know, because again, it would be nice if the guy, you know, take care of himself, it doesn't get hurt. I don't want the guy to get hurt. I don't want him to become another Benoit, because it's really fucking eerie. If you think about it, it's really fucking eerie that this guy, he resembles Benoit in every way. He does the diving headbutt, the guy does the similar fucking move across face, and shit like that. And then he, the way, the same way he won the world title, WrestleMania 20, I mean, WrestleMania 30, same way with 20. You know, come on, you gotta say that's eerie. I, I mean, unless they already booked it like that, we like, why? I don't know, it is what it is, but the reality is... I just hope, like, you know, in the end of the day, let's just hope he doesn't die. I wish him the best. You know, I don't hate him. I don't legit hate him as a person. I don't think he's a great fucking performer. I think he's literally one of the least entertaining performers of all time. But I don't want him to kill himself. I don't want him to die. I don't want him to co commit a Benoit. I wish him the best. I hope he, you know, everything is fine. If he's leaving, there be good riddance. If you're gonna wrestle, okay, whatever. But for God's sakes, I don't fucking know. <laughs> just, you know, just do the fuck you want. At least he won't be boring uh, in WWE. He'll be boring somewhere else, and people will fake praise that as good. You know what I mean? But other than that, 
if he's gonna be in WWE still, or he's uh, he's gonna be like part timer, then like, ugh, great, we still have him, but at least he won't be on every time, right? But if he's actually legit gone, then good riddance, uh, and I hope he has a good retirement. Enjoy taking care of your kids. That's what should matter, honestly, in the end of the day. Don't try to fucking appeal to these man children, you know. Uh, Try to take care of your own children instead of these man children. That's what, cause again, that's what these smarts are. They're the mud, they're big man children. They're all these fat man children. You know what I mean? They rather care about themselves than thinking about their families. You know what I mean? They rather care about themselves. You die for us, Brian. Die for us. Risk your life for us, Brian. Even though you're gonna get her fragile, you're so fragile. But I, you know, and also they'll probably jerk off to Brian. You know, they like weird dudes like that. You know. Don't appeal to them, <laughs> you know, fucking take care of your own family. But they only care about themselves, they don't care about his family. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have to really say, you know. Um, there's nothing much to really say at all. That's just my thoughts. Uh, if Brian's really done, uh, for good, well, good riddance. And not just that, well, good for him. Enjoy your retirement. It's not like he... Again, it would make sense, like, wouldn't it make sense that if he lost, to make, to clarify things, he must retire? I don't know, why, why wouldn't that make any, that would make more sense, you know, for, and that would make the match bigger, and probably that would have gotten SmackDown more bigger ratings, you know, if they brought his last match, I guess, you know, you could get all the fucking uh, people f used to watch wrestling, like, yeah, let him lose, you know? But other than that, you know, if he's done for good, good for him. If he's done with dirty, just going to other promotions, I think that's not smart, but good, okay. Just as long as you don't kill yourself, then fine. Don't try to appeal these Smarky fans, but I know Sparks will be happy if he goes to AEW. Because that's what they want. They want, they think that him going to AEW will save AEW, try to make them a bigger brand, or he's gonna, or he's gonna, I don't know. They just rather see him in these dream matches where they're not dream matches, you know? They're just fucking just indie bullshit. But if that's the point, and he's or if he's gonna become a part timer, I mean, I mean, we don't get to see him any, like every time. But I don't know. I just think the guy should just be done at this point, in my opinion, because he's not like a good, great entertainer. You know what I mean? We need entertainers who we need wrestlers. We need wrestlers who can entertain than than wrestlers who, who want to wrestle. Okay? We need people who can entertain, not just by wrestling, but characters and storyline. Okay? And actually have a character, and actually fucking look the part and act the part. At least fucking if with Eddie Guerrero, he didn't look the part, but he still acted the part and still was fucking credible himself, you know? Despite his small facture, okay? Just saying. Well, that's all my thoughts. We'll see what happens. Time will tell if Brian is gone or where for what will happen. We'll see what happens, but I don't know. I'm just hoping for the best. And you know what? I wish the best for Dane Brian. Okay, that's all I have to say. All right, till next time, peace. Yeah, bye. Let's just hope fucking wrestling improves, but it probably won't, because we still got these weird fans anyways, and we still got people... We still got people who are who resemble Brian on the main roster, though. That's the thing. So what's the point? Okay, so Brian gone... We still got all these other people who still resemble his style, but they're just really another Daniel Bryan. That's what it is. All right, peace. Yeah, bye, motherfuckers.